Hello everyone, you may be noticing that there is no video, but there will be in just a moment. This is a very different video than normal. Just like last week where I did a video about the physical aspects of magic, today it'll be a little similar. I'll be showing off some of my, my bling. So this is going to be a Braden's bling episode. So I'm just going to pop open the webcam and we're going to start off with Time Twister. Um, this is my Time Twister. I picked it up at GP New Jersey in 2019. I uh, traded a couple decks for it, so it's obviously a very expensive card. I can leave some information in the description about some of these cards. Um, Time Twister is probably my favorite magic card, and if I was ever to get like any art involving uh, magic on my body, I'd probably get... Um, Maybe not art from this specifically, but something that's like a reference to it. Uh, I was thought maybe the Time Spiral set logo. It'd be interesting because the Time Spiral set logo is actually the the uh, time piece right here. So uh, that's that's uh, that's just a little thing about my favorite card. So uh, the next card we have up on our list is Demonic Consultation. So this is my personal copy of Demonic Consultation. It's not. A proxy. This is an altar by Kixar, so um, you can see his name right down here. Um, Kixar is one of my favorite artists, and I saw that he had done another demonic consultation. I said I have to have one, so I got my own. Um, demonic consultation is obviously one of those powerful cards in the format. It's going to be pretty hard for me to avoid playing a deck with it in the future, and because there's no foil copies, I knew that this was my only option for getting some special blings. So. I thought Demonic Consultation by Kixar was a pretty good choice. I love the uh, gold on the faces. There's also some like, face paint there. So, all right, the next card is Seaborn Muse, another one of my favorite cards. Um, this is the original Legion's foil. So uh, I got it, I think I was building um, just like, I think it was after Paradox Engine got banned. I was building CST and I wanted a five mana bomb that would really create a lot of card advantage, and, a lot of card and mana advantage, and so uh, Seaborn Muse just was the best option. So I really prefer these old border foils. Uh, I have another one here, Tainted Pact. So uh, this is a Tainted Pact foil. I got this at GP Washington DC in 2019. Uh, I got it for $120. Uh, I felt like I was getting ripped off at the time, but the card's not $200, so feeling pretty good. Um, saved up for this card for a while. Uh, probably wasn't something I was supposed to get, but I'm pretty happy I got it. All right. This is the Judge Promo Noble Hierarch. Uh, it's very similar to the Sea Worm user notice, but the interesting thing about it is that it's actually um, not a card that was ever printed in Old Border except for this Judge promo. So it's pretty unique. Uh, there's a couple other cards like it. Another one's going to show up on the list. But yeah, I, I think this, or this art's beautiful. I think the border's beautiful. And I think it's a great example of uh, what it would look like if they, you know, didn't uh, switch to the new border. So we're going to move these up. So uh, this is my Mystic Remora. Uh, it's a Rocky Altar. I also picked this one up at uh, GP Washington, D.C. I got it from a member of the community who was, like, retiring, and they were selling out of CDH, and they had sold off their whole collection, but all they had was this Mystic Remora because no one would buy it from them. And all I had was $30 left because I had, like, a $150 Tana Pack budget. And, um, or maybe, you know, I think I also had gotten something else that weekend, so I really had no money left. I said, you know, literally all I have is $30, and I'm not going to be able to eat tonight if I spend that $30. And the guy was like, all right, yeah, $30 is fine. So he gave me the Mystic Remora, but uh, done by Rocky, and a, um, a few other, like, weird things he just couldn't get rid of for $30. And, of course, this was a steal. I've gotten offers up to $100 for this, so um, it's a very special altar, and it's very pretty. All right, this is one of the newer cards, uh, Draineth Magistrate. Uh, I just think this is the most pretty version of the card. I love the art here. The foiling here is just really, uh, it's really stunning. It's like one of the best foils they've done in the modern era, I think. And thankfully, it's it's on a very powerful magic card. So uh, I think they did a great job there. 
All right, so we have my Dark Confidant. Uh, again, this is one of the um, Judge Promos Old Border Foils, so there's not really many of those floating around. Um, I picked this up at SCG Philly last year for, you know, it might have been this year, I think for too much too much i don't remember quite exactly but i remember after i looked up the price afterwards and realized i've been ripped off but you know that's what you get sometimes you have to relearn those old lessons uh but this card was just so pretty it distracted me i think and the last card we have here is a judge promo soul ring signed by sheldon menery so uh sheldon menery didn't do the art for this i actually used to have a signed soul ring by martin that had a uh, a silver and 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 uh black uh shadow signature on it it was a revised soul ring uh i actually strongly prefer this version of soul ring because it's foil and i think the fire just is so beautiful uh there's really not a lot of foils like this out there uh the dci promo uh is just stunning and that signature is just so great it's right on the right on the type box and you know sheldon is you know when, when this card uh, got printed it was in the early 2000s i think right before uh it was before hurricane katrina because sheldon told a story on our podcast about it and uh so this card really wasn't worth a lot for a long time. And, uh, you know, thanks to Sheldon, of course, this card is now actually pretty valuable. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of a nice thing to have. Uh, you know, as CDH players, sometimes we have a rough relationship with the Rules Committee, although that's all that's gotten a lot better in the, the last few months and years. And I thought it would just be nice to have, like, a reminder, I guess, that, like, the Rules Committee is, like, is still a part of CDH and, uh, you know... I think it's just nice to have that like tied in with my decks and this is really only, only ever going to go in a cdh deck so i thought that was kind of nice to have so that is all the inf all the stuff i have today all the information all the tiny secrets about uh my little collection uh this is just uh, a few cards um looks like it's nine yeah it looks like nine cards i meant to do 10 but i couldn't find a 10th card that i felt was better than any of these um, I'll definitely be doing one of these again. I have, like, my Yuriko deck that's mostly foils. And, uh, you know, the rest of medium green is foiled. So with the, a few fetches missing. So, yeah, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, as usual, the TCG Player affiliate link is in the description if you're interested in picking any cards like this. Um, you might want to be a little careful uh, because, you know, foils are a little hard to, you know, make sure you get the right kind and, and the right quality on TCG Player. That's, like, a known problem. But... If you're interested in that, uh, I know TCG Player has excellent uh, service, and they'll help you if you have any problems with the quality of the foils you get in the uh, mail. I know people have had to go through that process. I know I've had to go through that process. So um, if you are interested in picking up anything like this, just uh, click on that affiliate link, and uh, it helps out the show quite a bit. So thanks again, and I hope you're all able to stay safe and uh, get some games in during this rough time. Have a nice night. Bye.